Welcome, Bow Betters! Please comment, like, and subscribe. If you comment and leave some information, we use that information. G the Mattress Guy is one of my big commenters and has followed me since the start. Guy has got a lot of good inside information. That's how we were able to pick Chris Curtis as well as others throughout uh, the year. We have won much money just interacting with each other, getting each other's picks, because that's what, what this whole thing is about, sharing information to try to make money. Just as in this middleweight bout here, Andre Muniz, minus 143 against Eric Jaboy, who has never been subbed, Anders. This could be a close bout because Anders has a de decent counter wrestling skill set and has a significant striking advantage. He's also just huge guy, physically strong. He has more knockdowns in the UFC, UFC and lands more strikes per minute, but not at range. Anders is also slightly better defensively with a 51% significant strike defense and a 56% striking defense at range. This is going to be your striker versus grappler matchup, but Mooney's can strike too, and Anders is more hittable than Mooney's absorbing two more strikes per minute. The line is not crazy wide here because Anders is a decent fighter with no fantastic performances nor consistency in the UFC. That's why this should be a little bit closer. If Anders is physically gifted and he's been beat and he's beat a submission specialist in Gerald Mershart before, but I have to lean on that that Mooney's grip and jits. Yes, Jaboy has not been subbed, but he hasn't you know faced someone like, of like Mooney's grappling pedigree. Mooney's can gas and is not great defensively on the feet. And this could be a problem as Jaboy has good counter wrestling. He's only spent 8% of his time being controlled. He's also stuffed 30 uh, takedown op op opponents attempts. Where, and Mooney's only has 50% takedown accuracy. But these are just stats. Of, and these stats aren't reflective of the MMA jiu-jitsu Mooney's brings to the octagon. So that's why Joey's pick this weekend is is Andre Muniz on the money line. You know, we, you know, the guy is just diverse. He'll jump to guard. He can accept bottom to grapple. And that grip, man, that's where I was on Muniz before I knew he was going to be Jacare because the dude will not let you go. If you close, get into close counters with him, he could do anything. He could almost do an Amari roll like Hall would do to get you, and he's not going to let go. Yes, Anders can keep try to keep this on the feet, but I don't think that's going to happen. The longer this fight goes, it's just going to be Andre Muniz's uh, path to victory, which is that submission, and he could still strike as well. So let me know what you guys are doing in the comment section. Like and subscribe as always. Thanks again for making it this far. Thanks again.